Alrighty, hi there guys, welcome to my video. This one is to show you how to three dimensionally rotate your text and your pictures in your videos in your Vegas Pro projects. And we'll get straight into it right after my intro video. Action time, the greatest hero of the home. Alrighty, hi there guys, let's get straight into it. Okay, so I'm gonna give you two different examples. So this is our text piece. If you don't know how to do text pieces, you'll click anywhere on a video column, right click and go insert text. And you'll type in what you want, delete that. So now that I have my text ready, if you have an old version of Vegas Pro, over here you'll have a little, right there, you'll have a little white square. If you don't have a one or two older uh, year version of Vegas Pro, you will just click on this here, more, and you'll click on track motion. Now, when you click on track motion or the little white square, it does the same thing. This will pop up. So now you're going to resize it and position it so that you can keep working on your project. Uh, right there, I'll pause and say, if you have a project that you've worked long and hard on and you're a beginner, don't play around with this stuff on your project you've already been working on for many hours because I won't bother saying why, but you, you're highly likely to end up messing up things and you won't understand how to change them back. So make sure that you try this and practice it on a brand new project that's blank, um, uh, not important to you. And then once you get the hang of it, you can start doing it in your real projects. It sounds unnecessary time wasting, but if you do this on your existing project, you probably will regret it. I gave you a warning. Okay, so here on my example project, I brought up that box and now the next thing you do is over here, it says source alpha. This is a two dimensional way of twisting and sliding around your video piece. You want to change it to a 3D way of sliding and twisting. So click on the down button here and click on 3D source alpha and it pops up with these four squares. Now these four squares are all the exact same thing. They're just looking at your example, three dimensional piece from different angles. So you can click and drag whichever one you wish and they will all do the same thing. I'm going to use this one here, which says perspective and is actually exactly the same as clicking and dragging with this one, which says front. So I won't go into it into this video, but for now I'll just say, just click on this one here and don't do anything else. Next, if you want to resize it and make it bigger or smaller, this magnifying glass icon here is, I don't know, kind of pointless. I don't know why. You don't click on that and then click on magnifier. You just position your mouse cursor anywhere inside the blue box and you will zoom in and out. Just use your scrolling button on your mouse to zoom in and out. Next, if you want to move your text, you can click anywhere inside here to make the blue box highlight itself and you'll drag it around and you'll position it anywhere you want. If I position the text here on example second number one, one second in my video, it will start there or well, at the one second mark, it will be there. And then if I went play and went to three, four, pause, say five second mark, and I drag the text over here. Uh, now between those two settings, it will slowly random it will slowly uh, change so i'll go back to here the first second we'll, we'll call this zero and we'll call this the five second mark so it started off here and when i press play it will slowly vary itself until it's in that position at second five so let's watch it see so it's gliding so that's how you make text move and now we'll go undo and we'll get rid of that second marker and we'll just come back to the first one and the first one I'm going to put back on default in the center. So now for the uh, second example I'll give you, example number two. If you don't want to make your text move and vary between two different positions or more, we'll say you just want to flip this text or it's the picture or the video sequence or the video um, example. We'll say you just want to flip it upside down. What you do is you zoom in here and you click uh, you highlight the outer circle and you rotate it upside down. Or if you want to flip it back to front, you will grab this column, the, what is this? This is the Y axis and you will rotate it around until it's back to front. 
uh, if you rotate something and you want to be precise on a 45 degree angle and you don't want to just trust your eyes you will rotate it roughly to the 45 degree angle and then you will look over here which column is changing its numbers and you'll work out which one of those is probably the 45 degrees that I want and you will click on the column and you will type in exactly the angle you, you want so now we'll go back and make it look neat and tidy again so that's two-dimensional rotating now I will show you three-dimensional rotating and to make sure you understand it better we won't use a text example we'll delete this now right click and uh, delete tracked delete column and we're going to work on this video piece I'll bring it back its opacity so we can see it and I'm going to change this one three-dimensionally so now same thing come over here and you will either click on that white square again or in the newer version of Vegas Pro you will click on track motion in this column here and again you need to go from uh, two-dimensional to source alpha 3d and again ignore those and just play with this one for today zoom in and I'm gonna think of a quick example okay I'm gonna pretend that I'm standing here in the bottom corner of the video and on my other side on my left or here I want that guy rotated three-dimensionally on a 45 degree angle so I zoom in on the sphere and I make sure that I'm positioned on the first frame of his video piece so that he doesn't start rotating randomly throughout the video and go back to the track motion and I'm going to zoom in so it's easier to work with and I'm going to click on this column here in the middle click and hold and drag it and I'm going to rotate him on a I don't know 30 degree angle now I'm going to zoom out and I'm going to click on one of the corners of the square uh, click and hold and I'm going to resize him that's it so that's how you rotate two dimensionally and three dimensionally I could carry on for ages and make this a half an hour video but not many people would watch it so I'll leave it there if you have any questions about how to do something further like how to make the angle change uh, variably um, give me a thumbs up give me a like and a comment and I'll come give you a hand hope you enjoyed my video see you guys next time Action Dad, the greatest hero of the home. That's the end of my video editing tips video guys. If you'd like to watch another one, click on the link on the left. If you'd prefer to watch one of my outdoor adventure videos put together, click on the link on the right.